Hey guys, what's up? It's Amanda. Welcome back to my channel. I know I have been totally MIA again, and that's really, I don't have a good excuse for it. It's really just because I've been busy and I've had a lot on my mind. I'm starting school in the fall. I've been working a lot. I've been hanging out with my friend Olivia a lot. So I've just, a lot has been going on and I have either been too busy to do it or in my spare time, I just don't feel like filming because there's just so much in my mind, so much going on. And I've actually been reading a lot. So that's what this video is actually going to be about. Sorry, I had to fix that. There we go. Now we can see more of my body and my hands because I talk with my hands. Anyway, so today we're going to be talking about The Roses of May, which is the second book in the Collector's Trilogy, which is by Dot Hutchinson. Um, it is now actually called The Collector's Series because Dot decided to write a fourth book. Hopefully she'll write more books because I absolutely love this series. I've only read the two books. There is a third one, but I haven't read it yet. It's coming in the mail and that one's called The Summer Children and I'm very excited. But if you have not seen my video of The Butterfly Garden book review, go ahead and head down there. It's about 10 months ago, I believe I made it. So go watch that first, read the book, and then come back. So this is what the book looks like. And I actually just finished reading it today. And I actually bought this, I don't even know, maybe like four to six months ago. I don't really remember the time range, but I have this book and I read the first 50 pages. And for some reason, I did not like this. It pretty much bored me because I expected this book to be just a second part to what happens to the butterflies, what happened to Desmond, what happened to the gardener, and stuff like that, which it does get into. However, the first like 50 pages are just about the main character Priya, who you will learn has lost her sister to a serial killer who leaves girls dead in churches with flowers all around them, hence the name The Roses of May. And so pretty much the whole storyline is surrounding her. However, they incorporate the detectives and the agents from the Butterfly Garden in this book. And Inara, um, aka Maya from the Butterfly Garden is in it as well as Bliss. And they do talk about the other butterflies as well. So when I first started reading it, I read like the first 50 pages, like I said, and then I just put it down and I didn't didn't keep reading it. And finally the other day I was like, you know what, I'm gonna give this another try because I really, really love The Butterfly Garden. So I picked this book back up and I started reading it and I just couldn't stop. And now I have the third book to the trilogy on its way from Amazon and I am so excited to start it. But anyways, let's get into this story and how I felt about it. So like I said, the first 50 pages I was like, I don't really know if I want to read this because it's a completely different storyline because I didn't know that they incorporated, I knew they incorporated the agents, but I didn't think that they were actually going to incorporate like Maya and Bliss and stuff like that because I really, really enjoyed their characters. And so I'm really glad that she ended up incorporating the two. But the first time I started reading it, I didn't know that. So um, at first I wasn't really sure of it. But then when I kept reading, I realized that they were weaved together. And so I just kept reading and kept reading and kept reading and I couldn't stop. I really, really, really loved this book. The, I really can't say any complaints about the book, to be honest. Um, I think it was slow at times, just like in the very beginning. Um, I'm not going to give too much away because I obviously don't want to give you guys the plot because you're probably watching this because you haven't read the book yet and you want to know if you should read the book. The answer is yes, you should read the book. But there is a time where Priya meets um, these other older veterans and that part of the book is like the beginning and I just like thought that that was pretty slow to start the book off with. But I must say like the first couple of pages is actually about the killer, the serial killer that we're talking about in the book. So that is a good hooker, but as soon as it's d hooker, <laughs> that is a good hook. But as soon as that little, like, I think it's like two or three pages, as soon as that hook is over, then it starts into the story with Priya. And so that's where it lost me. That's where I was like, oh, this is boring. But it's not. You gotta keep reading it. So yeah, I just like really, really enjoyed the storyline. I really loved the character developments. It the way they the way Dot portrayed Priya was so like beautiful and strong and just like Bliss and Maya, Priya is this 
strong woman. Well, I guess she's a teenager in the book, but you know, she's a strong woman who protects herself no matter what and obviously is very hurt from something in the past, but still continues to fight. And I think that's really beautiful that Dot made both storylines with a strong female lead. So I really, really enjoyed that. You kind of get to learn a little bit more of Priya and Agent Edison's relationship, and that kind of shows a lot about uh, Agent Edison. So that was really interesting to me. I really, really enjoyed that. I think that it gets really, really interesting because you don't know who the killer is, but you think you know who the killer is. And so it's kind of like, I'm sitting on the edge of my seat kind of book, and it was like that the whole entire time. So it really had my attention, other than the little slow parts that I mentioned. It's a little too detailed in certain parts. You know, sometimes she would mention, you know, little things that just didn't really need to be mentioned, and it was just like, why, or, you know, why am I reading this? Who cares? And so sometimes I would just like, you know, skim over it really fast and then get to the good parts. Um, but that only happened a couple times. I mean, usually that always happens in books that I read, so. I'm used to it, but I can honestly say that I would probably read this book again because it was really, really good and I can't get my mind off of it and it's just so worth the read and I'm very happy. But yeah, anyways guys, I would definitely recommend, ugh, I would definitely recommend reading this book if you read The Butterfly Garden already. If you haven't, you won't understand this book, so do not read this book unless you've read The Butterfly Garden. Hopefully, I will be making a review on The Summer Children, which is the third book in the trilogy, which I've mentioned like a hundred times already. Um, and then I will be reviewing The Vanishing Season, which is the fourth book that will be coming out in 2019. But yeah. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a like if you liked it. Give me a comment. Tell me what you think about the book, if you've already read it or if you're looking into reading it. Tell me what you think. Go ahead and leave me a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye.